We have got a serious problem in the oceans of BC. We're seeing the southern resident killer whales disappear at a rapid pace. Between 2008 and 2014, 70% of the pregnancies failed. Since 2015, there's been no successful calves. Many of the questions that come up now is, is it too late for these whales? Misty McDuffie, a biologist with Raincoast Conservation Foundation, says the whales can be saved, but not if action isn't taken immediately. Um, through a lot of analysis, what we found was that they can recover if we can reduce the noise that they're exposed to by 50 percent and increase the salmon that they feed on by 15 percent. The government did make some changes earlier this year, particularly when it came to marine vessel requirements, but we still saw the death of three whales. So Misty says more needs to be done. And that is why they're calling for an emergency order, which would see the shutdown of Chinook fisheries and stop whale watching tours that involve southern resident killer whales. We are losing whales at a rate that far exceeds what's, what the natural rate should be. And that that warrants these more dramatic measures. We had a chance to speak with the Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Catherine McKenna, who told us the government knows there is serious work to be done. We clearly need to be doing more um, and we need to be doing more in partnership with the U.S. because uh, these, these southern resident killer whales, they go back and forth and we know that there's a lot of challenges. There's a lot of vessel movement, which is having an impact too. The Raincoast Conservation Federation, as well as the other groups involved, have asked that this case be expedited in hopes that changes will be made to protect the whales ASAP. In Vancouver for the Weather Network, I'm Mia Gordon.